Okay, here's how this is going to work, folks. You're going to take a, you're going to find a book or pages, whatever you like to cut up, and you're going to rip them out. And then once you rip them out, you can glue them down just straight like this. But I like to cut all the extra edge, all the extra edge around the around the letters off, just so all I have is the words. I do that with my sheet music. And uh, see how quick I can do this. Just try to make it like this. And I did that one at a time, but I could go in here. The cool thing about books is they're all printed the same size and width. So I can get four or five pages going at once. And cut them all out. And then you get these and you can go through them one at a time and see how you got multiple pages. So just make a little stack of these. And then you got it going on. Uh, one way you can do it is with glue like this. Some I heard some of y'all might have already glued these down, but if you got if you got a regular glue, you can do that. This is the way I like to do it. Uh, I got this stuff called this is what this is paper mache paste. So it's called a, a glue paste, and it's basically just watered down glue. And I've mixed up a big jug. And there's a jug just like this at your at, at the front of the room or over there on the table. And I poured some on a little plate like this. And there's a couple ways you can do this. One is to come over to this canvas. And I don't use a brush. I like to use my hands. It's messy, but it works good. I just kind of rub glue on here where I know I'm gonna stick. I wouldn't do it all, the whole canvas at one time. But if you know, the pieces are about that size. And I usually go up on the edges and on the back side because I like to wrap around the side of the canvas so there's a little of paper edges on the side makes it look a little bit better and then you just come up here where it's wet and roll it stick it on there and just kind of rub it in and then you can kind of fold it over the edges and rub down and it should the, the glue will stick really well and what I like to do even after after I get it stuck down is take some more and go on top of it. And I just keep doing that until I've covered this whole canvas. And I got a whole stack of these. And uh, you don't have to be OCD, but sometimes you can uh, figure out which side looks the prettiest and try to get the letters all going in the same direction if you want to be like me <laughs> and be OCD like me. But you can just rip them all up, go in all different directions, and you don't have to cut off this white edge if you don't like, but this is what I do. And sometimes you can put paste on the actual page. And I'm gonna go a little bit higher, a little bit around the edges here. Just so I can fold it down. And I'll put a little bit of extra on top of it. And I'm kind of pressing down hard when I do this. But you don't want to press down hard enough to where it's going to slide it around. You want to get just hard enough to where it's going to stick. And I'll just keep doing that until I get the whole thing covered. I'll try to do it the time lapse just for fun. Woo! Here goes nothing. Tighten up when it dries, it'll get really hot, it'll get really tight and make it sound like a drum when you hit it. Peace. Uh, this is the 
this is still this one right here is still wet it's just just for the sake of the demo i'm going to take it away sit it over here out sit it over here let it dry i do have a little square that i did this is glued down the exact same way i'm just going to show you it's really simple i really don't even need to do a demo here uh what you're gonna do now is you're gonna figure out what you want to draw. And I usually start with the, the willow charcoal because the willow charcoal will wipe off here really easy. Like if you go like this and you don't like it, you just take your hand and rub it off. It'll go away. Uh, try not to, try while you're laying out your drawing, try to keep it really light so you can wipe it away. You can't really get that dark with this, plus it will still wipe away. But don't use the compressed charcoal, use the willow charcoal. And uh, let's see if I can draw something right here real quick. All the examples I showed you were faces, and that's what I like to do. I'll see if I can draw me a face real quick. And I like to get, sometimes uh, pictures are, uh, go with the words or whatever. I, I, sometimes you can read the printed words and this says, sing a song, the Savior is calling, so maybe, maybe I can make this Jesus. <laughs> Go with Jesus, I'll give him a beard. Some long hair, maybe. Oh, I hope y'all can see that on the screen. But what I would do, I would just try to get this as close to like I wanted it with the charcoal. And what I do when I do mine is I draw with the charcoal, I get it exactly laid out where I want. Get it all like I like it, yeah. But I would get it all kind of drawn out like I like, like I like it. I give a little toga here. And I could even take this and come in here and smear it around like, it, like I want it. And then what I would do, I would take some ink. See if I can get some ink going here. See if I can stand up and do it since it's so small. But I would just come in here now and right where I had the uh, the charcoal, just kind of paint right over the charcoal. And then we do all the darks first. And if you, while you're doing it, sometimes the chalk, the chalk and the, the ink will go together. But I would just do only paint where there's darks. the charcoal and I'll let the black dry and when the black dries I could come back in here I think it's probably dry enough for me to get in there I could even put more put some more shade and model in there and if I wanted to do it just with chalk and just leave it with chalk and ink like I got it that would be fine or if I wanted to come back in here with, and make Water down the ink and do a wash. That might be that might even be cool. Or like let it dry and then instead of doing light gray with the charcoal on his neck, I could do the light gray with the with the wash. The cool thing about the chalk is I can smear it out if I get it too dark. See how it's, it's slowly turning into Jesus. 
cool thing about Jesus is it says save your calling, sing for the cross, yada yada yada. So maybe sometimes you can let the whatever the whatever the print on the paper is saying. I think that print over there was about slavery, which is kind of a bad topic these days, but hey, go with it.